Ken Fain, Island Carpet Tile and Hardwoods. You know something? All that glitters is not gold, and all that shiny is not silk, particularly when it comes to carpet. I want to talk to you about two problematic fibers in the carpet business. These are fibers that give carpet a soft feel, a lustrous look, even a shiny look. The fibers I'm referring to are viscose and tensile. The carpet here that we're showing you is made of 60% viscose. I don't know why. They could have done it with something different. Lisa Wagner, who's on the internet and calls herself the rug chick, uh, says it very well. She calls viscose the sausage of the fiber world. And pricey paper. Why? Because viscose is made from wood pulp. Just like any other natural fiber product, like sisal, for example, add water, the thing's gonna stain, it's gonna explode. It's a very fragile fiber. It doesn't lend itself to hot water extraction cleaning or steam cleaning. The only way you can clean it is using a dry method and you're really taking a risk. The carpet industry realized that viscose was a problem and they came up with another fiber called tensile. Now tensile is also made with wood pulp from the eucalyptus tree. It's a little better than viscose, but not a lot better. And with viscose and tensile both, you wanna be careful when you're vacuuming and using a beater bar because look, it's, it's paper, you're running a brush over it, you're gonna essentially shred it. You're gonna have little pieces of fiber come out. I'm not saying don't get a carpet made of tensile in particular. You get a look, a lot of the finer, most expensive, most design-oriented carpets are made with tensile. It's a great look, but know what you're getting into and know that you have limits in terms of how you're gonna maintain and care for and clean that carpet. So as they say, caveat emptor, buyer beware, watch out for viscose and tensile in expensive carpet. Ken Fain, Island Carpet Tile and Hardwoods.